Good morning, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining. Well, I've been watching Yellowstone, uh, the different monitors this morning. Yeah, they, they recently had a magnitude 2.9, and it's been rocking and rolling. And my cats have been running around the house ever since this earthquake occurred. This here is an image of Old Faithful uh, from yesterday. Here is a spectrogram of that 2.9 as it came in at Moose Creek, Idaho, uh, Maple Creek, and Mary Lake. Yeah, and I'll show you the earthquake signature here. Okay, we got it there. There. And there. And then I'll show it to you on this other monitor. Yeah, it's been rocking and rolling this morning ever since it got up about uh, 5.30. But here's that 2.9 at Maple Creek. We got Moose Creek, Idaho right here, and down here at the bottom is Mary Lake, and I'll pull it over so you can see the other other earthquakes. And I'll bring it back another four hours for you so you can see these earthquakes. Yeah, we got another one there, extract it. Right there, and there's another one there. Um, this here is Moose Creek, Idaho. Uh, we got another one down here. And I'll extract that one so you can see it. And then we'll come back another four hours. Yeah, we got more here. Look at that. Let me extract that for you. This is harmonic tremors coming up from Mary Lake. Now, I talked about Mary Lake in my last earthquake uh, report for Yellowstone. Uh, volcanic tremors, volcanic tremors. This is what you see when magma is on the move. Well, now it looks like they upgraded that earthquake to a 3.1. It was close to a Heaven Lake. I'll refresh this. This was originally a 2.9. Yeah, 3.1. No one reported feeling in this earthquake. There is people that do live down in that area. But it's still early. Uh, the earthquake just came in a few minutes ago as I was watching it. And over here, let me go over here. There's that 3.1 they're saying now. And this location of some of the residents. Um, I don't know if they don't stay there during the winter. Uh, maybe they've gone home. But maybe it's just too early for the reports to come in that USGS does uh, post. And they do not post all the felt reports from earthquakes. So we'll bring that out. There's the location. There's that 3.1. And here we got Heaven Lake. Another thing I want to point out, which I covered in my last uh, report, or one of the last reports, was uh, this area of Yellowstone Lake, which um, Bob Smith from the University of Utah feels this will be the area that will probably have the next volcanic eruption. They're hoping it'll be a small eruption, but by their definition of a small eruption, it will definitely be larger than the eruption that happened at Mount St. Helens. This is close to the area where um, they had those trees that fell on the ground that burned up because of the heat from the ground. You remember that? That was probably up and let me use the other map all right using google earth here's the location of those other earthquakes that i marked out and the other ones at turn lake and that's where those uh, trees burned up this is the uh, sour creek resurgent dome area and you know too from listening to my reports how because of the uplift of the sour creek resurgent dome it's rising raising the uh, ground here at the fishing bridge at the northern end of yellowstone lake and it's kind of obstructing the flow of the water um, for the Yellowstone River. And then we got here this yellow line. This is the area where we got uplift uh, between um, the uh, Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome, which we used to be able to see on the live webcam, and the Sour Creek Resurgent Dome. Uplift as of yesterday. And this is from a borehole, a very deep well, for the Norris Junction area. Remember, lots of dots means lots of shaking. See what started yesterday? 
top is north, bottom is east. Each dot would be an earthquake within the last seven days. Darker the color, the more recent the earthquake. And then the last 30 days. The tilt meter for Grant. Now Grant I've talked about because that's an area where the magma has been constantly trying to come up for about two years. Again, lots of dots means lots of shaking. These are all the earthquakes at Grant in the last week. Now, where is Grant? Going back to Yellowstone Lake, right down here by West Thumb. This, is, this area marked in red is the most recent eruption, um, a caldera forming eruption. And that occurred about 162 to 150,000 years ago. Uh, there is rhyolite flows in this area that are less than 10,000 years old. So these are all the earthquakes that occurred in the last week there at Grant. And then the last 30 days. Yeah. Now, those of you that have been following me as I've been watching what's going on at Yellowstone in the last five years will recognize um, that there has been a definite increase in activity at Yellowstone. Yellowstone is recharging for another eruption. Yeah, and look at this stuff that's going on here today. Uh, let's see, extract that for you. And we'll pull this. Oh, yeah, well, let me pull it all the way over to where that 3.1 came in. Okay, can I pull it over? No, I guess not. Yep, it's definitely heating up. This is that 3.1. There's several earthquakes afterwards. Looks like there's another large earthquake coming in. Let's extract that. There it is. It's got a P wave on it. The P wave is the first wave of an earthquake. That is the sound of the earthquake as it comes in. The S wave goes around the outside of the earth, the edge of the earth. P wave goes directly through the earth. S wave goes around the outside of the earth. That's why it comes in second. And that's the shaking that people feel. Now this is the earthquake that's coming in right now. So I don't know what magnitude it is. And they might have it up by the time I finish with this video. Right now it's just the 3.1. All right, tilt meter for Yellowstone Lake for the last seven days. Again, look at all the shaking here, all the dots. Now this is from yesterday. They're always a day behind. And all the earthquakes there at Yellowstone Lake. Um, that's at the fishing bridge where this borehole is at. Last seven days. And then the last 30 days. Yeah, we got uplift. Top is north, bottom is east. Yeah. Uh, magma under the ground flowing east, even though the ground looks like it's rising in the north. Tilt meter for the Madison River area. Let me pull this over. Last seven days. Lots of shaking. Now, the Madison River area is up near um, Heaven Lake. Earthquakes in the last seven days. And then the last 30 days. Yeah, you can see here where the ground... I took. I talked about that, how it took a breath and then dropped back down. Okay, last 30 days. Another borehole for the Mad uh, Norris Junction area. Excuse me, seven days. And you yeah, see all the dots and all the earthquakes in the last week. And then the last 30 days, yeah, a lot of data missing. They weren't recording. So this is not accurate. Only 16 earthquakes have been reported in this area in the last week. And then when you have multiple earthquakes that show up on the monitor. All right, I'm going to pull this back. Let me pull this up too. Yeah, this one's not being reported. All these small ones are not being reported. This one's not being reported. Um, these two. More there. Let's go to the files that I pulled when I was working on this this morning. Now remember, each earthquake that's marked in red um, is a message that's been sent out to the uh, geologist to come in and review them. Yeah, we got one there. Let's look at the, uh, yeah, look at that. Um, another one. Yeah, well, we'll just pull this over so you can see them all. OK. 
come up to this one. Let's see, that'd be that one right there. Yeah, a lot of rocking and rolling this morning, but it's been going on for a while. Uh, this one on the right is Mary Lake, and I've talked about Mary Lake in my last report about the magma and the significance of the magma um, falling there at Mary Lake because that's where it comes in, one of the plumes that comes in on the uh, east side of the lake, and then it flows under the lake up to the Madison River area. Yeah, look at that. Everything is not normal. Um, hot gases, uh, magma, and the hot water. That's what the uh, white lines at the top is. Um, the deeper the red, the hotter the temperature. Say that. Okay, Mary Lake on the right. Um, Maple Creek and then Moose Creek on the left. Moose Creek, Idaho. Yeah, it's just yeah, rocking and a rolling today. And it's been doing this for quite a few days. And I believe... That is why the monitor for the live web camera is down. And this here, the scientific term here uh, that they use is blobs of magma coming into the system. Again, this is Mary Lake. Very significant. And this is the area where Bob Smith uh, feels that the next eruption of Yellowstone Lake is going to occur. Let's see, I'll try and get some of these all come up, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of earthquakes not being reported. And these earthquakes are still coming in. Okay, let me pull this over for you. Bottom Mary Lake, Middle Moose Creek, Idaho. And up here is Maple Creek. Look at this. And I'll pull it over some more for you. So if this was a 3.1 right here, um, yeah, how big is that one? Let's look at the signature. Okay, 3.1. I'll extract that. And then we'll extract the other one. Um, that one lasted longer. Maybe it was bigger. It's got a P wave on it. Okay. All right, so that's all I have for you right now. Yeah, we'll just have to keep an eye on it. I am posting what's happening there on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter. Um, all links to all articles are down below. Thank you for watching. Always be prepared for some kind of disaster. Yeah, 2020. Um, yeah, generations are probably going to be talking about all the stuff that's going on this year. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you.